about them. You know, cool previous owner, used in a movie. You know, the, the kind of thing that makes it unique. And makes Yusuf want to pay top dollar. Once you pick one, we'll come up with a plan. You do your thing, boom, boom, you bring it back here to HQ. Then it's up to you. Sell it to Yusuf, break it down for parts. Hey, maybe every now and then you'll just keep it, right? We just pay to change the VIN and make it legit. Now, setting up robberies ain't cheap, but I guess you already know that, right? <laughs> well, anyway, the first one's on me. See, I want our partnership starting out with good vibes only, hey! And by partnership, I mean you're completely in charge at all times, and please don't kill me. All right, no time like the present. Let's pick one and get started. Okay, nice pick, boss. Nice car. Now, here's how we're gonna get it. This may come as a surprise to you, but you aren't the only close personal friend I got in organized crime. Uh-huh, your boy Jamal's connected. You ever hear of King Tiny? He was a major player in the ballers. OG and everything. Anyway, he got out, and now he does a whole podcast about the life. Got like 20 million followers on Snapmatic, man. Legit. Now, I met him at a house party up in Vinewood one time, and we just clicked, you know? I let him use my yacht and my penthouse and all my cars and my credit cards and everything. Brother from another mother shit, you know? Anyway, the cops pull him in all the time. They got him in Mission Row Station right now, facing some pretty big charges. Now, he says if we break him out, he'll tip us off for a car. And not just any car, man. This is like the personal, pimped-out car of one of the biggest gangsters in Los Santos. Yusuf will love this shit. So, let's scope out the station and see what we can do, right? Alright, so this job is a multi-step kind of gig. If we want that car, we gotta bust my homeboy King Tiny out of jail. Gonna need some intel first though. These are some high-ass stakes, so we gotta get it right. Not to make this harder, but my guy has tried to escape, like, <laughs> a bunch of times. So the guards are automatically gonna assume any funny shit is him. We can't risk them shooting him in a panic, and we're not about to shoot up a police station for a car. So, we're going to do this without any guns, okay? You could do that, right?
as they're used to seeing approach the building. We'll have to get our hands on one of these if we want to make it onto the roof. Excuse me. Just in case. 